everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a great project for you today. Today I'm going to talk about putting blocks on point, how to set them on point and how to do it. So let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? These are all little nine patches, and just setting them on point gives them a little bit of pizzazz. So I love this fabric. This is so cute. This is fabric by Amy Smart. Um, let me see what it's called. It's called Gingham Girls by Amy Smart for Riley Blake, and it's just darling. So all the girls who sew for me, they could hardly wait for this to come out in a daily deal. They are loving this. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one roll of two and a half inch strips. And again, we've used this cute Gingham Girls uh, by Amy Smart. You're also gonna need, your background is three and a half yards of background fabric. We've got an inner border here that is three quarters of a yard. Our outer border is gonna be a yard and a half, and this is a six and a half inch outer border. And then your back right here, this is five and a half yards of fabric for your back, and it's the same that we used on that little inner border. So it's just a darling, darling quilt. It makes a quilt that's about 75 by 84, so it's a good size quilt. And um, we used nine patch blocks. Now the nine patch is an easy block. We've made it before. I'm gonna quickly go through it again, but my point for making this video is so that you can see how to set any block that you make on point. Now on point is when you take a regular block like this and you turn it this way. So the point comes down on the bottom. Normally on point blocks are set in rows that go diagonally, but by putting our squares around this, we're gonna set this so we can again do straight seams, but the block turns, but not our sewing. So it's still easy for us. And I know that sounded a little weird, but hopefully I'll clear it up as we go along. So let's quickly go through the nine patch. Now the nine patch, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two strips of your color and sew them to one strip of white for one strip set. For your second strip set, you're gonna sew two strips of white with one color in the middle. Now when you do that, um, we're gonna cut these into segments and I'm just gonna line them up. I'm gonna cut them together. First thing I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna trim off this selvage edge. So I'm gonna make sure this is sticking out here beyond my half inch mark. And I'm just gonna trim that off. All right, now I'm gonna come in and I love this little two and a half inch ruler just for this so you can lay it right along the edge and just cut your pieces. And um, you're gonna need two outer pieces to one inner piece for this block. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So we've got these two right here and I'm gonna swap those around and we're gonna put this one in the middle and it makes this little block like this called the nine patch. We're gonna stitch this together. Um, on, the, on this block, I want, to, I want to point this out. On the block where it has two whites and one reds, it's ironed to the center. On this block here where we've got the two colors, it's ironed out. So when we're ready to sew those together, they just nest up nicely. So let's go and sew these together real quick. The nine patch really is one of my favorites. I love the nine patch block. It's just so, I mean, you can do it scrappy. You can do it with strips. You can just, uh, anything you'd like. It just makes a beautiful block. All right, let's sew the other side on here. So we have, we've put these two together and then we're gonna sew this other side on here. And make sure they nest. I'm feeling for that seam for no space in between. There we go. And I'm gonna come over here and iron this. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to kind of roll it back. We'll give it a shot of steam and it'll lay nice and flat. So this is our nine patch. Now it's super easy block to make, quick, and, uh, and I know you'll love doing it as much as I do. So let me show you now how to set this on point. What I want you to remember about this, and I'm just trimming this up um, as we're talking, um, but what, you, what I want you to remember about this is this method is gonna make it so you can set any block you want on point, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna measure this block and I know that this block is six and a half. So then I'm gonna cut a square out of my background fabric that is exactly six and a half. I'm gonna need two of those squares because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two squares that are the same size as this one. Now, as you get playing with this, you'll be able to adjust your measurements a little bit, but this is just an easy, quick way to do it so that it works for every block. So now what I'm gonna do, I have these two squares. I'm gonna cut them diagonally 
both directions. So my squares again were the same size. And now I have four of these little pieces. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here and we're going to attach these four pieces to it. So I'll attach top and bottom, side and side like this. And what that does is it changes the direction of the block from sitting straight all of a sudden now your block goes like this and that block has been popped on point. So let me again let me go ahead and show you how I did this. So um, I'm going to take my two squares and I'm going to find a little middle spot right here. Just fold it in half and give it a crease with my thumbnail. And then I'm going to do the same thing on here. I'm going to fold this in half and give it a little crease and that tells me right where to line it up. And one of the things you'll notice on this is that um, is that there are I mean, there's lots of methods of doing this, and you will probably be able to uh, cut down your fabric. I think a lot of times the, what they naturally do is take it down about half an inch and cut a block that's a half an inch smaller. But I, you know, I'm all about easy, and so this was easy to me. Two blocks the same size. We're going to line them up like that. We're going to sew a quarter of an inch right down the sides. Because then you can actually trim up your block to any size you want. So I'm going to sew this a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to come out here on this edge and sew the other one a quarter of an inch. And for those of you, you know, for those of you who are doing this for the first time, this this is just an easy way to do it. And I love it when you can take a little block and when you turn it on point, it looks completely different than just the straight setup way. All right, so now I have these two on. I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side over here. Find my middles and find my middle over here and attach it to the middles on this side. Make sure we're in the middle there. There we go. Now we're going to lay these two on here like this. And you'll notice they come all the way across those two points right there, which is what we want. And this one. Oops, there we go. Got those nice nails, you know. All right, so here, so see how this comes clear across? That's what you want. You want about a quarter of an inch on either side of your triangles. Uh, and that makes your whole block. So we'll just quarter inch this down the side. And one more time over here. All righty. So now the benefit of doing it this way is that um, if you need to square up at all, you have plenty of room. So I'm just going to iron this back just like this. Whoops, I got a little rumple over here. Let me steam that out. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to square up my block, which means I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up so that it hits on that, uh, this little seam right here. Make sure you have plenty for your seam line. I'm actually putting my half inch mark on that edge, on my, right here on my block. So I'm just trimming off a little, but it's gonna give me a perfectly square block, and I didn't have to stress over it. And one more side, look how clean and pretty that looks. There we go. All righty. So look, now you have this perfect little block. So now all you have to do is do that to all of yours, and then we're going to get to set them together. So let's take a look at how we did this, because now you have an on-point block, and you get to sew it together in rows, just like this. As you make your second row, it's going to come together like this. You see how cool that is? Isn't that great? So let's look at ours here. We have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks down. So 56 blocks, and it just makes a great quilt. So I hope this helps you. I hope it helps you um, put some fun twists in some of the blocks that you're making. Try it on some other blocks besides the nine patch. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the nine patch on point quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.